How did I not see that? He's just wearing, there's just like a whole camera there. James Cameron, you let that one sink. <laughs> <laughs> So today we're going to be playing Find the Flaws. Find the Flaws. That's very judgmental. I'm trying to find one right now, but I don't see any. And since it's award season, we're going to take a look at some flaws in Oscar winning movies. Nice. Well done. Yeah, get those Oscar winners. Is this one like the camera cuts and like someone's not wearing what they're supposed to or there's like little TV mistakes, but these are movies. Because Game of Thrones, there was these big things that were going, you know, that were trending that were like the coffee cup and the whatever, the water bottle. I didn't see it when I watched it, you know, so I I don't normally watch for those things, but since it's a task you have me doing, I don't know, we'll see. We've also hidden three Oscars for the audience to find. If you find all three in the first 48 hours, make sure to tweet their locations at FBE for an opportunity to win official React merch. <laughs> you finish? I replaced oh, God, the lock. Such a great movie. I replaced the lock. But you got a real problem with that door. I replaced the lock. Who's that behind them? Behind them to the left. I caught it. You fixed the lock. No, I replaced the lock. But you gotta fix that door. Uh, I was concentrating too much on what they were saying. At first I thought it might have been the guy's shirt. Like he had a different shirt on, but you couldn't see the shirt. So it's probably something in the background that I'm not even looking at. Is his button undone? Was one button, like when he sat down, was like up, and then all of a sudden it's undone. That door doesn't have a lock? Is that the flaw? There was a, like an eyeglasses rack over here that I wasn't seeing that I feel like I should see in that shot. I don't know. I saw some crew guys kind of hanging in the aisles a little bit. They, they weren't ducked a little too much. Um, I feel like they probably thought they were out of the camera shot, but... I saw them. If you look closely, the crew is seen in the lower left corner of the scene, ducking behind an aisle. Really? I want to see it. I replaced the lock. <gasps> you got a real problem with that door. I feel pretty blind I didn't notice it. Oh my gosh, there's like crew, is that equipment? Oh my god. Oscar winner, come on. That would be won an Oscar with that, thanks to that guy over there, right? <laughs> Winning role, actor of the year. I've seen this movie so many times, at least a dozen times, and I didn't notice not a thing ever, but when you're kind of trying to, you could kind of see what's a little bit out of place. Oh, help right. me. I'm just gonna back up a little bit here and look at this, okay. Airport, that's spelled right. Shh. <laughs> Chris. I literally just said how I was gonna be good at this game. I spoke way too soon. I didn't see anything. That one was a little tougher. Maybe it's because it's in the dark. I think I saw it. He was already up. That shot is him standing up and then the pass shot, he was already standing. I was like, wait, how'd he get back on the ground? <laughs> that was a big continuity error because he's down on the ground. He was like this. Why is he getting off the ground? He's already standing up. Oh, let's go! So the main character, Chris, is already right. standing with his hands up when he thinks the police have arrived, but after it is revealed that it is his friend from TSA, and he is back on the ground again. Oh! Oh! Yep, he was up already. Okay, okay. Really messed that one up. Better get out of here with that. That's, like, so obvious when you see it. I don't know why he didn't get that, like, at first. That movie was amazing. It was so good. Jordan Peele... Oh my gosh, they always say comedy and like horror films go, like the pacing is similar. And he's just a genius in comedy and in horror. Now I'm feeling hyped. I got a point, I'm on the board. Uh. Oh. So aggressive. Are you not entertained? I bet it's gonna be the sword. He threw the sword, but he still has the sword there. You just threw your sword and then you had it in your hand again. Why do you still have a sword in your hand, homie? That's two! Uh, actually, if you look when he throws it, you can see he already has two swords in his hand. So I was kind of close. <laughs> Not like a Starbucks cup, Game of Thrones kind of thing, is it? <laughs> there was more bodies in the first shot than the second. I mean, I thought some people were frozen, but that was really it. I don't know. I tried really hard. I mean, I saw there's a person leaning down in the back when everything goes flying, but I'm not totally sure on that one. Oh, damn, that's hard. I don't know what the fly is. If you look closely, you can see crew members in the far left of the crowd during the wide shot, 
along with their camera jeans and t-shirt. Stop. Oh, yeah, I see it. That's fun. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god, and it's so obvious now. He or she, I can't tell, fits in with the crowd, right? Like, it's just a, somebody watching the, the fight. Maybe they had jeans back then. At least he's wearing, like, similar color in his clothes. Even though you can tell he's wearing a white shirt, a belt, and jeans. <laughs> like, that garb just fits in because it's so old school with everybody else. That's crazy. How did I not see that? He's just wearing... There's just, like, a whole camera there. This is, like, a huge movie. Like... I feel like, you know, they would have seen that. Try die. Oh, uh, there she is. Oh, man. No, 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 no. The, the water. Oh, there's gonna be like, there's so much things going on in here. I don't know. I didn't see anything. He's supposed to like already be down the stairs when he's going through the people? I have no idea. When I looked in the beginning, the only thing that stuck out was that guy in the American flag shirt. There's gotta be a crew in that like crazy crowd somewhere. Did he pass by the same person with the sign multiple times? The people in the background are the same. <laughs> I don't know what you want. It was the one person with the top hat with the bow. He pushed against them once and then did it again in the second shot. That is correct. Oh my lord. That's insane. Oh, they repeat it. The same people. Yeah, he's, he's like doing a little slash vibe right here with Guns N' Roses, but that's okay. This one's like really hard because extras, it's every time they're gonna move a little bit with big crowds. So it's just depending on how the editor cuts it. So there's really no way to kind of prepare for that. I remember this. She's about to cut off the cuffs. <laughs> Whoa, okay. There she goes. Okay, okay. Oh, wait, that was it? There's a fly in there? Axe was facing the opposite way. Maybe she's supposed to be in water and it didn't sound like she was in water at all. I heard the footsteps. I feel like the preserver thing was on the opposite side in the back when she runs past it. Was there something in the shot? I literally don't know. That's like a two second clip. <laughs> what is it? The glass. So like there's like a little piece of glass and then all of a sudden there's more glass. How crazy, that's such a small thing. <laughs> so when Rose breaks the glass to retrieve the ax, the glass is gone. And then in the next shot, there's still glass around the emergency ax. Oh, interesting. Oh, yeah. Oh! <laughs> yeah, even the words are still on it and everything. Oh, okay, 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 I see it, I see it. That's, yeah, so minor. Glass reappears. It's like, well, you gotta protect the actress. I really feel for the script supervisor on that one. I feel like that, that's not like a mistake anyone's getting fired over. James Cameron, you let that one sink. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, the scene is freaking crazy. Hmm. Oh my God, I literally have no idea. You know what's wrong with this movie? Bad Boston accents. Yes, I'm from Boston, I can tell you that much. That's the biggest flaw. Maybe his hands switched on the gun, like the placement? Was it, he's supposed to be cuffed, handcuffed, and then his arm just goes like this? Oh, his arm. When Leo like went back, he, it, it wasn't really behind his back. The guy that's being held down, his arms were behind his back and then they're just dangling down. Oh, was he supposed to be handcuffed? When he was slamming into the wall, Matt Damon didn't want to get slammed that hard. He moved it up. If you look closely, Matt Damon's character is handcuffed, but then when he enters the elevator, his arm is free as it hits the wall. Oh, interesting. <gasps> oh, funny. Mm. Oh, whoops. He's like, Leo. A little too hard on the banging up against the wall. That is funny. He's like, boy, stop slamming me so hard. Leo, I know you're like method and all, but chill the f out. Abuelita runs our house just like Mama Imelda did. Ah, uh, such a sweet movie. Pizza Planet Truck. But that's in like every Pixar movie. Music! I can't. I think we're the only family in Mexico who hates music. What? I saw the Pizza Planet truck, but I did not see, yeah, I did not see a flaw. I mean, there's like the Pizza Planet Easter egg, but that's not really a flaw. Is it maybe the 
picture? Something about the picture or the frame? Something about the cross on the wall was catching my attention, but I got nothing. I got nothing. It seemed flawless to me. Oh, was the picture different? When he was looking out of the window, was the picture behind him different? Yeah, well, different as in it magically appears. Oh, it wasn't there before. So there are actually two flaws in this scene. First, when Miguel is blowing in the bottle, there is more fruit in the background than there is in the wide shot. And then the second mistake is when Miguel is looking out the window, there is no photo in the wide shot, but in the medium shot, it appears in the background. What? No music. Mm. No music. Oh. oh my goodness, come on, you guys. Yeah, ooh, it's different fruit. That's not a tall yellow one, it's a tall green one. Oh yeah. See, I was paying attention to the cross on the wall that was right next to the picture. Oh, see, look how obvious it is when you show them side by side. Who finds these mistakes? They're just analyzing frame by frame and like, that doesn't match, even though it's a blurred background image. Those things are just like so on the background. Like, I don't even see that they are there. It's like you pay attention, but you don't really pay attention. But it's still important, especially like... Disney, when they're so detailed, like, on what they do and their animations and everything, like, they still make mistakes. I like to think I'm observant, but you just kind of get caught up in, like, you remember the scene and, oh, this is the part with this and that, and you're not really looking for mistakes, especially if it's a movie you really like. This was way harder than I thought it was going to be. It was already going to be hard because these are Oscar-winning movies. These are the best movies of all time. So finding mistakes, it's really nitpicky. If there's an Oscar-winning movie that has mistakes in it and it still wins an Oscar, then how much do my mistakes really affect my life? That is so encouraging. Thanks for watching me. Find the flaws in the React channel. Subscribe for new shows every day. If you like this episode, hit that like button. Bye, everyone. Hey, guys. Ethan here from the React channel. If you like this episode, then be sure to follow us on Twitter. You can come ask us questions. You can tell us what you thought about the episode. And you can even tell us if you found all of the hidden Oscars hidden inside this episode. Bye, guys.